Okay, we're live. Happy Friday. We had some technical difficulties, so we are going to get Mark and Thomas McBee on here right now. Let's see, so just bear with us. Okay. All righty. We're almost on here. Okay, there's, <laughs> there's one. Where's the other? Except. Oh, my. You know what? I thought I'd never experienced rocket science, but I think I just did. I No kidding. Well, so much for raw and authentic content. Uh, hey, in the flesh. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Thanks for having me on today. Of course. Sorry, uh, Facebook didn't quite work, but thank you. We'll work on that. Yeah. So we we're here. Have... What? what were you saying, Thomas? I said we're here. Thank, thank goodness, we're here now. So let's we're here. Let's yes. do it. Let's do it. So we're talking with Mark Dat now. He's um, our trusted lender that we've known for a long time, and is just phenomenal with. Our, our home buyers that he helps. He's with guaranteed rate. So we are just going to have you touch on just what you're seeing in the, you know, mortgage side of things in the industry overall, maybe any tips you have for home buyers right now. Sure. So it's been a, it's been an interesting couple months, as you guys know, I mean, rates have gone up a little bit, but I always like to, to tell people they're right where they were right before COVID hit and they were still really good and we did a ton of business and, you know, they're still all near all time lows. So, so I think everyone got so used to, th you know, rates with a two or a three in front of it for the last couple of years. And um, they're still really good. And, and we it seems to, and in the last week or so, kind of settled down a little bit. We noticed that the rates, you know, spiked. We, we had a really, you know, high run up for, for about two weeks there. And now they seem to have leveled off and they seem to, to, to be somewhere hovering, you know, in the fives and the sixes. Um, we still have some really good jumbo loans that are even in the low fives and high fours too. So, so some, of the, some of the jumbo loans are even pricing better than conforming loans right now. Great. So it's still a good time as far as the rates go. So, so it's certainly, certainly not a time to put off a purchase because people think that the rates have gone up too much. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, no, I was just going to ask you, so um, give us, you know, like the, the, the good, the bad, and the ugly with regards to what's going on with um, not only just uh, residential purchases, but also um, multi residential, you know, um, how, you know, loans, loans of that nature. What's that looking like? Yeah. So, I mean, regular lending, meaning Fannie, Freddie, and, 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 and most jumbo investors is still pretty simple. Um, some of the ones that have become a little bit more complicated are the portfolio lenders and, and some of the non, what they call non QM product stuff that stuff that, you know, like bank statement loans and, 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 and some of the less, the less standard uh, types of loans are still, you know, super easy to do. Obviously with, with the geopolitical stand, you know, the geopolitical landscape right now, Sue, as you know, is, is, um, is pretty, you know, interesting. Obviously we've got a war going on. Um, there's a lot of inflation, but that being said, we're still seeing a ton of purchase business. We really are. I mean, it seems to be, and, and you guys would be better to attest to this, but it seems that the market seems to be loosening up a little bit. We're seeing more people get their offers accepted. Uh, in some cases, we're still seeing 20 offers, but in other cases, we're seeing three or four. Um, we're doing whatever it, it takes to make our clients shine. We're doing fully underwritten pre-qualifications. We're closing in sometimes 15, 16, 17 days. And our offers are getting accepted in the same manner that a cash offer would be accepted. I mean, these people are fully underwritten and it's, we've, we've found that um, we've adapted to this market very well. And being a direct lender, we, we have a ton of options and, and we're able to really do a lot of the heavy lifting beforehand. So when people get into this market, they, you know, they're still gonna have a challenge sometimes getting their, their offer accepted 
but they're they're really you know the the, the playing field has been leveled and i feel like right now is there is a really good time to buy from a lot of standpoints yeah and you're still seeing a lot of um the the <laughs> contingency uh be waived in, in oh yeah yeah i mean that's pretty standard you right. know you have to you have to do whatever you can to shine in this market and yeah we're seeing people still wave wave appraisal contingencies wave loan loan contingencies and that's pretty easy these days especially with a fully underwritten prequel right right oh but we know there's nothing that's going to happen with the loan and and appraisals are still coming in at or close to wherever the purchase price is too yeah, you and I are working on one right now, so we have our fingers crossed on that appraisal. Um, yeah. One question um, I, I know that some people might may, um, have thought about is, you know, there, there's some gimmick um, emails out there. Um, I don't want to say from who in particular because a lot of agents do get uh, emails from this particular source. But they were saying in there, and you and I, Gina, talked about it, on how they, uh, the buyer can um, get cash from a lender and make an offer, uh, it, you know, an offer with cash, but it really isn't cash because the lender has loaned them the money. You want to talk right. about that? See, there's a couple lenders out there, it's kind of gimmicky, where they'll say, okay, you don't, you will pay cash for the property and then you'll do a refi right after. Their rates are very high. Um, they aren't going to go in and offer 200000 over asking either. So. Like I said, there's a lot. There's a lot of fine print, and at the end of the day, um, those offers are. You know, I think the sellers know those those offers are gimmicky anyway, and they're not accepting those. Yeah. We're not, we are not being affected at all by by lenders that are offering that service at all. Well, it's just good for for buyers um, to hear it from you because you know they may get you know some friends with good intentions recommending that they do something like. Yeah. For the. You know, Oh, no, so nothing better than just a good old fashioned, fully underwritten prequel and, and obviously working with agents like, like you three who are tremendous. Um, that makes a big difference. Having the right representation in this market is, is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And I, I know too, when we spoke the other day, there's so many people right now, like as first time home buyers, where they're having a challenge, you know, putting a higher amount down in order to make their offer look really strong. So what some parents are doing is they're pulling the equity out of their homes in order to help them purchase, which is kind of a creative way to do things. Um, is it, I'll let you touch on that a little bit too. You know, from a lot of different standpoints right now, I mean, people say, oh, well, the refi business is, is really slowed down. Well, it has from a rate and term standpoint. Rate and term refis are, are very slow and, and few and far between. But people are pulling the equity out of their homes to do other things, like purchase real estate, uh, like help their, their kids with, with purchasing a home. And, you know, there's, there's obviously been a ton of equity that's built up. And people are nervous. They're saying, oh, well, you know what? If the market goes down, I'm going to lose some of this equity. What can I do to put it to work? Mm -hmm. A term doesn't work, but a cash out refi does. And people are, we're seeing more and more. We've got several in the pipeline right now where people are taking cash out for specifically for buying investment properties, for helping kids with their, with their own loan or whatever they need. They're, they feel like they'd rather hedge their bets at this point. Yeah. Is that a hint, Gina? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not that. Was a <laughs> No, it's definitely, like I said, there's, there's, that's definitely something that we've seen more and more of, especially in the last month or so. Yeah. I mean, it's either that or like these first time home buyers just need to maybe consider, you know, I know a lot of people in that age bracket are just kind of stuck on the beach. But I mean, if you go inland, even to areas like San Marcos Vista or whatever, you're still only 20, 25 minutes to the beach. Um, oh, yeah. coast. You're still in California. Um not dealing with crazy winters like people mm -hmm. in the East Coast do. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of options for them right now. Uh, Thomas, I wasn't sure if there's anything you wanted to touch on too. Mark took it away. We No, Mark, Mark's the best. He really is. All we want to do is recommend Mark. And you guys are amazing. And yeah. like I said, I love both you guys' teams. We do a lot of business with both you guys. And, and uh, certainly the consummate professionals, um, 
all around. So it's it's uh, it's it's a pleasure working with you, but with all of you. And we yeah. feel the same about you too. Thank you, Thank you Mark. Appreciate Mark's it. the best. Yeah, you hit, you hit the nail on the head, Mark. I think, but I think one good thing to mention is it is it is still a good time to get in the market. Right. You know what I mean? And um, all things being relative, it's not, I mean, you know, maybe you have high prices or, you know, the rates are going up a little bit, but it's all relative. Everything's relative at the end of the day. I mean, there is, I was talking to someone about this the other day. There is no perfect time. There, there will never be a perfect time ever because nothing in life is 150% perfect at any time. Nothing. So there's never a perfect time to buy real estate. Now it's just, just as good of a time as any. Well, actually, there is a perfect time. What'd you the say? Buy real estate was yesterday. Exactly. <laughs> but because every time somebody waits, yeah. um, it's like, oh, I'll wait for this. I'll wait for that. I'll wait for rates yeah. to go. I mean, it never helps them out in the long run. I mean, look where we're at now, where we were two, a year ago. Or yeah. Two Look at and it's all relative with, you know, interest rates back when, when people were saying, because we, you know, we hear it all the time as agents. Mark, I'm sure you hear it. People say, well, I should have bought in, you know, the late 90s or the early 2000s or, you know, 20 years ago. Well, yeah, rates were through the roof. It's yeah. like another world. Good point. As a matter of fact, Kate, the, the, uh, the deal that we're working on right now with Sue and Gina she just locked, you know, I believe in the low fives. And she said, oh, my God, this is, yeah, people talk about the rates, but I'm used to buying houses at 13, 14, 15 percent. Yeah. And let me tell you, we, we deal with a lot of people. And the people that have true wealth are the people that have bought properties over time. Oh, no. There's nothing better. You're always going to have a chance to refi. There's always going to be yeah. an opportunity. And there's no time like the present to buy real estate. And then I mean, and one other thing I was just thinking of, you know, what you were just saying, Mark, people who create wealth, there, there's this housing shortage here in San Diego is not going anywhere. No. People need a place, especially if you're thinking about considering buying investment type property, get in because there's no people need a place to rent and the rental rates are not going backwards mm -hmm. because there, there are no rentals. And there's there's a zillion people moving here, so you know you're gonna have the the great long term gain from an equity standpoint, and you can also have the potential for for cash flow in the in the meantime. Yeah. yeah. So for sure. Well, I we had a nice group join us, so that was nice. Thanks for sure. everyone on, and sorry about the the, <laughs> but apparently, um, well, I, yeah, yeah, I couldn't get on there for the life of me. Neither could I. I mean, I never realized how complicated Facebook has become. I'm like, oh. me. <laughs> Try that next time. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I appreciate you having me part, be part of the group, and I'll be here anytime you want me. Awesome. Thank you, Mark. We appreciate you taking the time. We'll see you soon. All right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye.